Right, so as promised in my last uh, video, I am going to be covering how to do the ears. So kind of like the side of the head um, and then going on to the top of the head. And in fact, I probably won't cover how to actually create the actual ear itself, but just the space um, around the ear and how to kind of model around the ear first so that you can then create the ear. So this is kind of you know, the build up process and how to kind of create the forehead, um, like the top of the head, uh, leading onto the back of the head as well. So all we're going to do now is we're going to just select these edges that are running down just here, like so. Just going to kind of go up to there for now. And what you can do is just pull these in, pull this in really slightly. So you're pulling it across, so it kind of goes in. And if you feel around the area that meets up to the actual ear, you can see how it kind of does go narrow slightly, just as at the back of the jaw uh, and at the back of your cheekbone as well. So you want that kind of definition in there. You don't want to go too far, but you just want to make it enough. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is just target weld to this point just here as well at the top. So go on my target weld tool and just weld that on there. Hmm. Now I'm not sure if her ears are actually angled back this much. Uh, or whether it's just that the reference image is uh, a little odd or whether her head's at an angle um, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to kind of loosely create the area around the ear but later on I'll kind of double check that for you before I go ahead and create the ear because you know I don't, I don't want to create an ear that looks radically different from what it should look like Okay, so this kind of forehead area now, we're just going to um, kind of lead up from there. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of create a uh, select of these edges that are kind of running down the side. And notice how I'm not selecting all the ones running down here. I'm only going to select it from kind of the top of the ear area. Uh, and the reasons for that will be apparent in just a moment. I just kind of shift and drag that out. Can you see how I'm kind of just creating this space which is going to be around the top of the ear? And you know, with the scale tool, like I keep saying, you can kind of start to straighten out the edge, you know, like that. But so I'm just going to just scale it sideways slightly and it's going to change the angle of that edge as you can see. So I'm just going to kind of pull that back a little bit. And then I'm going to shift and drag back. and I'm just going to scale in again, so scale left again and again you see how that's changing the angle I'm just going to kind of lift this one up as well a little bit I don't want my head to be too flat and of course I'd, my reference image you know, was kind of cropped there so <clears throat> I didn't have like the whole area of a head to kind of follow so I'll kind of free I uh, do it freely, uh, freehand at the minute without um, a blueprint, but I will kind of fix that later. And again, I'm just going to scale that in. Like so. And you can see how we're creating that curve for the head. Now from this point on, we're going to kind of have to we're going to have to uh, flatten this. So I'm just going to scale it all the way across. See how that's flattened the edge. Let me just do do that again, zooming in. If you scale across, so not out, but you're going to scale in. It's going to flatten that edge completely. And then we need to go onto the rotate tool and just rotate that this way like that. I'm just going to kind of pull that out a little bit. So this is a really kind of important uh, step when it comes to 
uh, creating a human uh, a human head because we want to kind of create that curvature on the back we want to be able to have enough um, polys in there so it looks you know curved and not really rigid and box like and you know you can sort of scale scale in a little bit and then rotate if you find that it's going out a bit too much but again we can have a play with that later we can fix up some of those areas and just shift and drag that down again just rotate so it's kind of straight now and I'm pulling that down again I'm doing it quite loosely and quite large at the minute because you know, I can quite easily put a new edge in there uh, later on it's just I want to kind of get this this bit done I'd say that would probably come in now start to come in and again like I said earlier I kind of want to match up the uh, poly so this one would kind of bridge with this one here that one would bridge with that one and I can create another one just here so if that comes in like so then I can start to come out like that right um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift and drag across from here so shift and drag to kind of like the halfway point in between these two areas I'm just going to scale it in you know how I said how we flatten that kind of edge out and then I'm going to shift and drag forward and I'm just going to go to target weld these points like so now most likely I'm going to notice that it's you know really kind of it's not lined up and it's quite bad looking uh, the reason for that is because they've not kind of created that curve on the side of the head uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these um, areas just here and I'm just going to pull those in like so pull that in as well because you know, your neck uh, towards the front of your neck it does kind of go into kind of a point uh, not really a sharp point but you know the back's the flatter area isn't it and then as it kind of comes around the front it does uh, go into a flat uh, into a kind of a pointed shape so I'm just creating like a, a loose kind of ear shape um, as you can see just here I might want to kind of pull this area down but I don't want to try and line it up too much with this image before I check out exactly what you know what shape uh, what angle her is at because on this image I've got a suspicion that it's not quite right so if you kind of do that I know it looks a little wrong but you know that's exactly what you want to do like so so that's looking okay it's looking quite good um, and yeah you know that's pretty much it <laughs> if you look at the back of the head can you see how there's like too many polys and it's completely flat so I mean I'm not going to show you how to do this because it's a pretty much a case of editing it in fact you know what I'll show you really quickly at the, at the beginning of the next video how to fix that really quickly um, and how to kind of remove some of these edges that you don't need on the top of the head you know that we're going to have hair that's going to um, kind of cover this area here so we don't need all these polys because the top of a head is fairly kind of flat um, so we don't need all these polys so I'm going to show you in the next video how to kind of remove all of those and then how to smooth out and curve out the head so it looks a bit more natural okay so I'll see you in my next video